tracking tip number two. But first, after tracking tip number one, a viewer wrote and said, It was good. But in my honest opinion, it would have been better if you would have included a few clips of actual tracking footage. Even if the footage had nothing to do with what you were explaining. It would have broken up the monotony of always looking at your ugly mug, laugh out loud, and the wall behind you. Also actually going outside, even now in the warm temperature, and with your hunting boots on, would have made a bigger impact on people. Again, in my honest opinion, I can't wait for the next tip. And he included seven thumbs up icons or emojis, whatever you call them. I'll do my best, random viewer Chuck. <laughs> and now on to <laughs> and now on to tracking tip number two. Tracking tip number two, safety. It's always a really good idea to let somebody know where you're at when you're out hunting in case of an emergency. One of the things I like to do is to use Google Maps on my cell phone. And I'll try to run down what I do and how I do that. Um, my assistant Terry is gonna have to show me or tell me Hi, can you see me? Can. can you see the phone? Yes, you should lift it up just to Can you see the phone? If you go to Google Maps, can you see that all right? Uh, yeah, it should be all right once you get that. You go to Google Maps. Okay, so go to Google Maps, and then you're where your little picture is on the top, you press that, and then it'll bring up a menu and if you go down a ways, it should say location sharing. And if you go on location sharing, then it's going to bring you up a list of people that you can share with. And then there's a place here you can hit, you can hit add a new share. So that's how you can put that in. And that works regardless of if you're, um, if you have cell phone connection or not. Now, for instance, on this map right now, you see the, the circle, the M? That's my brother. That's, that's where my brother's at at this very moment. So if, uh, if I needed to find him, I could just follow him right to wherever he's at. Is, is that camera picking that up all right? Yeah. Okay, so that's... I gotta go sit back down. I had to bring this outside so that my viewer Chuck would be happy because he said he didn't like looking at my wall. He didn't like my ugly face either, but there's not much I can do about that. So I use that location sharing because that works regardless if you have cell connection or not because it works off the satellites at, uh, to locate the phone. You can't message anybody if you're using that function, but at least they can find you. What I like to do is I like to have a few people that I check in with every night when I get out of the woods. And that way they know that I made it out all right. And if they don't, if I don't check in, then they can go to my uh, Google Maps and see if they can find my location on there. I, I'm assuming, I haven't tried it, but I'm assuming my phone probably has to be on. I don't know for sure. So you may want to have check into that and make sure that you need to have power. You might want to save your battery if you're getting low. So that's the very first thing. Try to let somebody know where you're at. I know when you're tracking, you're, you're moving all over the, the globe, especially if you're driving around looking for a track. Even if you're out on foot, you could be miles from wherever you started. So that's one, one important thing, to let people know where you're at. And that's a pretty good system. Second thing is I, get, I pick up these cheap little round compasses. And I've got some flat ones too. They're nothing fancy. They're nothing special. Very El Cheapos. I just put them in my pocket. I actually have one of these sewn into my jacket. It's not sewn in. I've got a hole in one of my top pockets and I slipped it in there and I let it fall down into the lining. So it's down in the lining of my jacket. No matter where I am, I'm out in the woods. If I forget to take a compass, I always have one in my jacket lining. So 
don't ever rely on electronics don't ever rely on on um, GPS to get you out because electronics can fail batteries can go dead reception can be lost whatever the case may be I like to have a compass I actually like to have two I like to carry one and then have one in my jacket that way if I lose one which I have done in the past I can always find my way back out and then again pay attention to where you're going if you do have to use the compass having a compass doesn't help you if you haven't if you didn't pay attention to where you're going when you're heading in so that's that's another key thing I never walk out in the woods without and this is another thing I carry in the woods with me all the time is a Bic lighter and you got to check them and you got to try to see if there's any fluid in them make sure they work if you do your homework you could do some research and you could find out that there's a flint in this thing and you can actually start a fire with the flint itself even if the gas is out but I would suggest practicing that way before you're in an emergency situation because that's not something that's easy to do it can be done but it was something that you don't want to try to do when you're in an emergency situation especially when you're cold and wet or whatever um, so I always carry a big lighter then I always carry a, a ferro rod with me and um, these are nice because if you fall in the water you could actually soak this thing in the water for a month pull it out and just wipe it off and you can start a fire with it again I strongly suggest practicing before before you need it whoops see I almost cut myself trying to demonstrate you have to have a striker for it and what I've done is I this is a knife I actually carry when I'm tracking and I actually ground the back side of the blade flat so that there was kind of a little bit of a burr on there and that burr really really pulls a nice spark off the ferro rod and again you know practice um, I even have I have some videos uh, playing with this and, and some fire starting techniques so and there's a lot of other ones on the internet if you want to learn so I always carry two methods of fire starting and a compass and then I use my phone as a GPS and I have people I check in with every time so that way I know that no matter what if I don't show up at the end of the day uh, somebody can come and find me and I have a way of staying warm if I get if I get wet and or uh, cold I can uh, uh, start a fire and stay dry and and warm I carry some food with me all the time too but that's really not a, much of an issue you can live for 30 days without food if you really have to so if you don't make it out in 30 days you probably won't make it out anyway I don't worry too much about water because it's usually tracking season and there's snow so if I need a little something I can just grab a little bit of snow um, they say that can add to hypothermia but I think if you're thirsty and you need something to drink it's better than nothing so that's basically it when it comes to safety I like to just make sure somebody knows where I'm at and I have some way to stay warm, uh, start a fire, and uh, a way of getting out with the compasses without having electronics if they fail. So that's it. <laughs> Anything you want to add, Terry? Terry's my camera, camera lady today. She says no. She would be lost without me. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to go back and keep putting siding on Terry's house. <laughs>